Geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Mohs scale of hardness. Hardness is a measure of how easily a material can be scratched. If we take this brown coloured mineral and then this grey coloured mineral and rub the grey mineral across the brown mineral, when we look at the brown mineral, we see it has a scratch across it, meaning the grey mineral is relatively harder when compared to the brown mineral. The first people recorded to think about mineral hardness were the Greek Theophastus and then the Roman Pliny the Elder, who both identified that diamond, when rubbed against quartz, proved that diamond was a harder mineral. Then this German geologist, Karl Mohs, devised the first proper scale, this called the Mohs scale of hardness, which features 10 minerals of distinctly relative hardness, devising a scale that starts with one as the softest mineral and increases, getting harder, up until the hardest mineral, at 10. Mohs started his scale here, at 1, with his softest mineral, talc, a soft clay mineral, then gypsum, then the carbonate mineral calcite, then fluorite, also known as fluor spar, then apatite, found in bones and teeth, then orthoclase, a type of potassium feldspar, then quartz, a mineral commonly found in sedimentary rocks and in granitic igneous rocks, then topaz, used as a gemstone, then corundum, including its variants of ruby and sapphire, then lastly, diamond, the hardest mineral on Mohs scale of hardness. Wow! We can use certain everyday objects to determine the hardness of minerals compared to Mohs scale, using these common items. If a mineral has a hardness of less than 2.5 on Mohs scale, it can be scratched with a fingernail. A mineral with hardness of above 3.5 can scratch a copper coin. A mineral with hardness more than 5.5 can scratch a knife or glass plate. A mineral with hardness greater than 6.5 can scratch a steel nail. And any mineral below 8.5 can be scratched by a drill bit. Nowadays there are other tests we can use to identify minerals, but these simple scratch tests can be used to roughly identify minerals. That's amazing! How do we use it? Field geologists use Mohs scale to help identify minerals using scratch kits, as these items used to scratch the minerals are easy to obtain and carry. A miller, making flour, will need to know the hardness of the minerals in their millstones, so they know which millstone to use with different types of grain. In our modern day, the manufacturers of flat panel display components for TVs and computers, and also smartphones, have all used Mohs scale to evaluate the hardness of screens. Mohs scale of hardness. Please do watch our Geology and Jiffy video about mnemonics to help remember Mohs scale of hardness. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!